You've seen them rolling through your neighborhood, lifting bins and swallowing trash like a mechanical beast. But have you ever wondered what actually happens inside a garbage truck? It's way more intense and way more high tech than most people realize. So what really happens inside a garbage truck? Let's start by breaking down the main types of garbage trucks, because believe it or not, there's more than one way to haul trash. Rear loader. This is the most traditional design. Workers manually toss bags and bins into the back. Inside, a hydraulic plate pushes trash into the main body and compresses it. You'll often see these on residential routes or where space is tight. Side loader. Often fully automated, this type uses a robotic arm to pick up wheelie bins from the curb, dump them into a side hopper, and compact the contents automatically. This system is highly efficient for residential neighborhoods and requires fewer workers. Front loader. These are usually used for large commercial bins. The truck drives up to a dumpster, inserts forks into special slots, lifts the entire container overhead, and dumps it into a top-loading hopper, common in cities and industrial zones. Roll-off trucks. These don't compact trash, but haul massive open-top containers from construction sites or demolition zones. They roll the container off the truck bed, leave it, then come back when it's full. Split body trucks, used in places with strict recycling rules. These trucks are divided into separate compartments for different types of waste. General, recyclable, and compostable. They allow for more efficient sorting at the source. Each of these trucks is designed for a specific purpose, from the narrow back alleys of old European cities to massive industrial parks and landfill halls. Now let's get inside the beast. No matter the type, most garbage trucks use a variation of the same basic system, a compactor that squashes the trash to save space and maximize efficiency. Here's how the magic happens. Trash enters the hopper, the collection area where everything first lands. Then a compactor blade powered by hydraulic rams shoves the trash into the main body. As more trash comes in, the blade continues cycling, compressing old and new material into a tightly packed wall. Some systems use a swing blade or a sliding panel, while others use rotating augers, like giant screw-shaped devices, to move and crush material. And we're talking power here. Some compactors exert up to 30,000 pounds of force. That means cardboard gets flattened like paper. Wooden crates crack and splinter. Metal cans are crushed like soda cans in a fist. The goal? Fit as much waste as possible into the limited space, so the truck can stay out longer and empty more bins before heading to a station. Inside the truck, the trash isn't just sitting around, it's under pressure, literally. Let's zoom in on what's happening. The trash compacts into layers, forming a dense wall-like structure. Some trucks have moving bulkheads or rear push-out panels that keep packing the trash toward the rear doors as space gets tight. Sensors monitor compaction levels and internal pressure, alerting the operator when it's time to unload. But with all that organic matter and crushed packaging, it gets messy. To manage the mess, trucks are built with drainage channels to collect leachate, that foul-smelling liquid from decomposing organic material, liners and anti-corrosive coatings to protect the metal from acidic materials, and seals to prevent leaks and odor from escaping. Many modern trucks also include internal cameras, allowing drivers and operators to spot. Illegal dumping, like electronics or hazardous waste, blockages or jams, fire hazards from batteries or pressurized cans. This isn't just helpful, it's essential for safety and compliance. Let's talk about safety, because with all that power, garbage trucks are no joke. Some rear loaders have warning labels saying, do not enter hopper area, and for good reason. The compactor can crush wood, metal, and large furniture. Moving parts like hydraulic cylinders and rollers are powerful enough to cause serious injury. 
loud operation and limited visibility can pose a risk to bystanders. That's why modern trucks are equipped with emergency shutoff switches inside and outside the hopper, dead man controls that require constant operator input, backup cameras and ultrasonic proximity sensors to detect people or obstacles. Some fleets also train drivers to stop and inspect the bin contents if they suspect something dangerous is inside, like propane tanks, lithium batteries, or electronics. Fun fact, in some cities, garbage trucks even have built-in fire suppression systems in case compacted waste catches fire from chemical reactions or crushed batteries. Once a garbage truck is full, it's time to unload. But where does it all go? Usually, trucks head to a transfer station, a large facility where waste is weighed, recorded, and transferred to larger vehicles for long-haul disposal. At the station, the truck's rear door opens hydraulically. The compactor or ejector panel pushes out the entire load in one dense rectangular block. Facility staff inspect and sort the waste, pulling out recyclables, hazardous materials, or electronics. Then, depending on local policies, the waste might go to a landfill where it's buried and sealed, an incinerator which burns it to generate energy, or a recycling center where glass, plastic, and metal are sorted and repurposed. In some countries like Sweden, over 99% of household waste is reused recycled or used for energy. So the garbage truck is just the beginning of the story. So what really happens inside a garbage truck? It's a blend of hydraulic force, safety engineering, and logistical efficiency. These machines aren't just picking up trash. They're compacting, storing, and transporting the world's waste under incredible pressure. From the robotic sideloaders of suburbia to the front-load giants in downtowns and the split-body sorters in eco-conscious cities, garbage trucks are more advanced than most people realize. So next time you hear the beep-beep of a garbage truck in the morning, remember, inside that metal box is a world of moving parts, sensors, pressure, and planning. If you enjoyed this deep dive, give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and tell us in the comments. What surprised you most about what happens inside a garbage truck?